Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you five different entries into the crossback straddle. If you're new here, my name's Brendan. I'm a physio based in Australia and I make videos about all things aerial. So if you enjoy circus fun, head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell to become a member of our high flying family. Before we jump in, if you can't do your crossback straddle yet, don't worry, check out the video in the top right corner first and then come back. This video will show you the entries, but not how to actually do the invert. All right, let's get started. And remember, you've got this. First up, we've got the basic cross. I'm not gonna to spend too long on this because it is pretty straightforward. Forward, but if I could give you one main tip, it would be to keep your feet together as you're splitting the silks. It makes it a lot easier to get the cross down low and give your shoulders space to come through. As with any cross back straddle entry, make sure the silks are crossed over your low back before you invert. Next we've got the chair entry. This is one of my favourites because it's quick, easy and smooth to get into. This variation I'm showing here is open which gives you a little more space and most people find it easier to start with. Turn to face one silk and reach both hands onto the silk behind you before bending your back knee to sit. Make sure the silk is in the middle of your back and you feel balanced before you continue. Rotate your body towards your bent knee and circle your straight leg around behind you until you come back into a sitting position. From here, bring your shoulders through the silks, regrip with your thumbs facing up, then stand and straddle to move the cross to your low back. The split roll can be done in isolation as I'll demonstrate, or it can also be done on the way down from a split roll up. As with most split moves, you don't need to be able to do the splits to get this move, but the more flexible you are, the nicer it will look. If you don't know how to do the split roll up, check out the video in the top right corner. Turn to face one silk and lower down into your splits. Do one roll up, bring both shoulders through the silk so it's across your low back, and then rotate back the way you came, stepping your leg through the middle of the silks. Reach the opposite pole at the same time. Stand up and straddle your legs to move the cross to your low back. The pin-up entry is quite similar to the split roll entry. Turn to face the left silk and come down into your splits. As you're doing the roll, bring your feet together, bend your knees to allow the silk to come in between your legs and then rotate up into position. Snake grip your right hand and bring your shoulders through and then rotate back the way you came while reaching for the other silk. Then stand and straddle to move the cross to your low back. To me, the mermaid sort of feels like a few of these entries combined. Start by facing the left silk and lower down into splits. Snake grip your right hand and bring both shoulders through. From here, circle your right leg around in front of you as you rotate to the left. You want to keep rotating until you've come all the way through the silks, and then you can pose in mermaid. I should have kept rotating here so my hips were facing down towards the mat to make it look a lot nicer. Reach for the other silk with your left hand, and then straddle to move the cross to your low back. Out of all of these entries, Mermaid is the most challenging for me. It could be because it's the newest one I've learned and so I haven't spent as long practicing it, or maybe it's just more difficult. Let me know in the comments down below which entry you find the most challenging and which one's your favorite. Are there any entries that you love and I've missed? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I'll leave another video here in case you guys haven't already seen it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.